Okay, you just saw that video, right? Why, this is why. Um, I did this video yesterday. Now, about an hour and a half after I did that video, I went and did a job with a friend of mine. This job was pretty fucked up. It was a sad job. You know, it's one of those situations to where, you know, we had to go into a property and remove somebody's shit because uh, the caretaker robbed them and stole everything. And now the man has to go to a home because he's lost his house. He's lost everything because of his caretaker. He took everything. Um, you know, fucked everything up. So um, and we're doing this job. And somebody says, you know, the perfect retribution would be to get this son of a bitch for what he did, you know, to this other guy. Are you up to stealing something? Take this motherfucker's shit. He ain't coming back. That son of a bitch is wrong for what he did to this guy. Take his shit. Fuck it. Get his shit. If you watch that video, I tell you in the video, 95% of my life, 95% uh, of the jobs I've had, people always ask me to do the wrong thing. I had been on this job four hours after I did this video. I was 30 minutes into this job and somebody asked me to rob somebody. I don't know what it is that compels people to ask me to do the wrong thing on a fucking constant. Um, a lot of people think, you know, I exaggerate this shit. This can't be you. It's got to be me. I did the fucking video, and and I'm telling this guy, man, that I was working with, about the video. And then the shit happens. Right there. I'm tired. It hurts. It's frustrating. I'm not the retribution man. I can't continue like this. You know, a lot of people say this and a lot of people say that, or, you know, you're exaggerating. Uh, just can't be real. It's real. And um, as a human being, it hurts people to look at you and automatically assume that you are willing to do dirt. I've done dirt a long time. I've done things I'll never be proud of. I've seen things that people only read about. I've been places people only seen the pictures. And I'm tired of my existence. I want a whole new life for myself. I want to get out of this, whatever this may be. Because over the years, it has drawn me into a ball. And this ball is gets tighter and tighter and tighter. I'm like being wound up in the middle of a golf ball. Feels like I'm five miles underwater and the pressure just keeps crushing me in. can't get out. And when I go try to find another job again next week, or when I go do an odd job for somebody in a couple of days, someone else is going to ask me for some drugs or some alcohol or some dope or steal something or take something to do this or do that. And I'm going to have to bite my tongue. Do what I gotta do.
do to get the money to bring the money home? How many people out there in this world constantly pressured to do the wrong thing? You know, when you're a kid, it's peer pressure. Come on, let's go get a pack of cigarettes. Let's go steal a beer. Let's go slip into my grandmother's weed closet. Let's go, you know, when it's kids, it's peer pressure. When you're a fucking adult, what is it? When you're an adult, is it, is it bullshit? Is it... But I know this, friends. Oh, I'm so tired. I wish you could slap me whenever I call you my friend. Family, family, family. Folks, I wish I could wear a pair of glasses with a camera on them that look like regular glasses. A microphone look like an earring. Oh shit, wrong ear. That a bitch. Go, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't even go out like that. But, um, and I would go through life wearing this camera and this microphone so everybody could see that I'm not crazy. So everybody can see what people do to me in my day. Hey, bro. That shit looks fucking cool, man. Hey, NWO. You know, People talk to me and jive. People talk down to me. People talk sideways. People talk out the side of their necks. Ow, that shit hurt. Ow. People use me to make themselves feel better constantly. I don't know why. I it's like if I flip out, go off, it's not me. If I just yes man and no ma'am and yes sir and no sir, that is me. But after a while, I don't want to do that shit. You know, hey, yeah, okay, yes, I can do I, Yeah, no, I can do I mean, after a while, you just don't want to say yes and no. You just want to just say no. 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 Like I said, people don't like me because of my attitude, my fiery, confrontational spirit. And I don't like me because of black man syndrome. Going to work in my skin, like I said, it's 8.08 in the morning. Thinking back on my life makes me want to have a fucking drink. I got Grey Goose. Nah. I got Smirnoff. Nah. I got some Jack Daniels. Woohoo! Yeah! Nah. But, um. My life at this point can't get any lower than this. Hey! But my life at this point is it's frustrating. You go out to get a job, people want you to become their dealer. You go out to get a job, people want to be the connection. You go out to get a job, people want you to join the dark side because you're a good person to put on the roster. When I get a job, people want me to go bad. That's fine and dandy, but if I wanted to go bad, I should go bad on my own. I shouldn't have anybody try to encourage me to go bad right after meeting me. And that bullshit makes you tired, and it wears you down, and it pisses you off. And you have been tubed. Get that tube out of there.